You know when you set goals for yourself and you feel like you can accomplish them, but something tempting kind of gets to you? Like maybe you had a really good workout, but the gym is right next to a Chick-fil-A, and you maybe want to go grab that. Well, in this episode, we're going to talk about how you need to do what's best for you and never fall for temptation. So, I have a question for you guys, and not to toot my own horn, but when I thought of this question, I really, really loved it. But it's, if you feel regret every time you fall for temptation, what makes you keep doing it? Why do you keep falling for temptation when you know it's not right? You might say, oh, well, sleeping in is really fun, or oh, Chick-fil-A is really good. What is it? Now, don't be hard on yourself. I literally just noted some things that I fell for, but I guess I'm making this episode because I want to start doing what's best for me. And whatever helps me out to not fall for temptation, I hope can also help you out. And these are my three tips on how to never fall for temptation. Number one, feel regret every time you think about it. Uh, I'm sorry, what? Yeah, every time you think about getting Chick-fil-A or sleeping in, I want you to feel regret even if you haven't done it yet. I want you to feel that same feeling you felt when you did fall for temptation. It sounds crazy, I know, but all it's doing is making you look at Chick-fil-A or your bed like, sorry, not today. Number two, have a reminder somewhere near you at all times saying, get the dream done. Type it out and make it your lock screen on your phone or make an iPhone case with it saying, get the dream done. Have a reminder on your phone, just whatever that reminds you to get the dream done. Because if you have that typed out and you look at it and you're not getting the dream done, you're going to feel pretty stupid. But if you look at it and you are getting the dream done, it feels so good. And number three, don't feel bad when saying no. I get it. Your friends want to hang out. It sounds like a lot of fun, but you have a lot of work to do at the same time. So you have to tell them, no, I can't hang out. It stinks. It's almost embarrassing. But when you're with your friends, the fun usually lasts for a day. You know what happens when you get your dream accomplished? The fun lasts for a lifetime. So would you rather have lifetime fun or a day fun? It's up to you. But don't feel bad when saying no to anything. And plus, your friends are probably going to know why you said no anyway. So I guess I'll end this episode off by saying God has a plan for you and he has a reward waiting for you as well, but you gotta go get it. Temptation sucks, I get it, but you can't keep falling for it. You might stumble here and there, but you can't fall for it that much. Just remember the tips that I gave you earlier and never fall for temptation. Now, I hope you enjoyed this message and even learned a thing or two, but I want to throw this out. Not only do I have an interesting question to ask you guys, but if you know someone that's struggling, or maybe you want to pray that your life gets turned around, now is the time to do so. I'll give you two minutes and pause the episode if you need more time, but use this time to talk to God about anything that comes to mind. It can be silently or out loud, it really does not matter, but use this time to talk to God about anything, and then I got an interesting question to ask you guys.
in to Sick and Succeed, and I really hope you enjoyed the message. My interesting question is, what are your plans for the final month of summer? Leave your interesting answer in the comment section below. There's new episodes every Wednesday at 7 o'clock a.m. Eastern, and I will see you guys next Wednesday at 7 o'clock a.m. Eastern. God bless.